Welcome back to the second perspective. Listen closely. Any person having information about the terrorist group known as the Awakened is requested to denounce them to the proper authorities. Now you're probably wondering who in the world are the Awakened and why are the authorities hunting them? Well, that is the focus of Omicron. Whoops, I meant Omicron the video game from 1999. Let's just say it has a most interesting story to tell. For starters, we've never seen a video game go to such great lengths in order to break down the fourth wall. A game? <laughs> Everything you see around you is real. You think you're safe behind your computer screen. You better think again. This universe is just as real as yours. What you experience here is no game. It's reality. And that reality is the world of Omicron. In this reality, the government explicitly tells citizens. Don't think. We know what is good for you. The message is echoed in this digital memo. The government alone knows what is good for us. It is pointless to try to think or reflect for ourselves. The people of Omicron gladly obeyed and found that their happiness increased. This increase is explained by the quality of planning and a stricter control of ideas. So important is this control of ideas that the government sent out this public memo. We remind all citizens that if you suspect someone of having their own ideas, it is your duty to inform the fact checkers. I mean thought controllers. It seems one citizen took this civic duty to heart and helped the authorities apprehend a so-called dangerous dissident who dared to spread misinformation. This criminal was swiftly executed for daring to share his personal opinion. The government even went so far as to say that non-conformist beliefs, which were anti-government, were not only dangerous, but they amounted to terrorism. They called these terrorists the Awakened. We're trying to open up the eyes of the Omicronians so that one day we can get rid of those who made slaves of us. The Awakened are fighting for freedom in order not to be governed by a machine. Now, just to be clear, what she is saying has nothing to do with QR codes nor the artificial intelligence that social media platforms use for censorship. Instead, the Awakened attack the public with a question, what good is happiness if you can't think? For this reason, they beg the people to wake up, saying, Beware of those who lull you to sleep to control you. And so, in an attempt to save the sleeping public, the Awakened risked everything to get one message out. Wake up, people of Omicron. Corrupt government are lulling you to sleep in order to control you better. They have transformed you into puppets. Join the Awakened Ones and rise up to fight for your freedom. Together, we can win. If you found this valuable, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos on The Second Perspective.